Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. There are many packages that come with Tailwind CSS for Livewire, like Laravel Breeze and Laravel Jetstream. So, if you prefer to use Bootstrap instead of Tailwind CSS, you'll need to set it up manually. In this video, you will learn how to set up Livewire 3 with Bootstrap 5 in Laravel 11 app. First we will install Laravel 11, after that we will install Bootstrap 5 and then we will install and set up Livewire 3. Before proceeding, ensure that PHP 8.2 is installed on your system, as Laravel 11 requires a minimum of PHP 8.2. Let's get started. Go to your browser. In Google, type Laravel and press Enter. Click on this link. Scroll down. In this video, we will use Composer Create Project command to install Laravel 11. If you have Laravel installer installed on your system, you can also use the Laravel new command to install Laravel 11. Click here to copy this command. Go to the directory where you want to install Laravel 11. Right click and select Open in Terminal. Paste the command which you have copied. Replace example app with your project name and press Enter. It will take some time to download, depending on your internet connection, so please wait for the download to complete. The download is complete. Now type cd your project name and press enter to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Now open .env file. Here, you can see the default database is SQLite. When we install Laravel using the Composer Create command, the .env file will be generated with SQLite as the default database instead of MySQL. Uncomment this lines. Replace SQLite with MySQL. Here enter your database name. Open XAMPP server and start Apache and MySQL. It is not necessary to create a database for this tutorial, but still we will create a database for our project. Go to your browser and open phpMyAdmin. Click on Databases. Enter the database name which you have added in .env file and click on Create. The database has been created. Now we need to migrate the database. Click here and open a new terminal. Type the command php artisan migrate to migrate the database. The database has been migrated. Now type the command, php artisan serve to run our Laravel 11 app. Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 8000 and press enter. You will see the new Laravel 11 welcome page. Scroll down and you will see Laravel version which is 11.13.0 and php version is 8.2.0. Now let's install bootstrap using Laravel UI package. In Google, type Laravel UI and press Enter. Click on this link. Click here to copy this command. Click here and open a new terminal. Paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. The download may take some time depending on your internet connection, so please be patient while it completes. Laravel UI package has been installed. Now we need to install the front-end scaffolding using the UI artisan command. We will install the basic scaffolding. 
If you want to install login and registration scaffolding then you can use the below command with dash dash auth flag. Copy this command. Paste the command which you have copied and press enter. Now we need to install the frontend dependencies using npm install command and then use the npm run dev command to compile the assets. Type the command npm install and press enter. Wait for the dependencies to get installed. The dependencies have been installed. Now type the command npm run dev to compile the assets. Open package.json file. Here you will see popper.js, bootstrap and sauce in the dev dependencies. Open resources folder. Here you will see the sas folder and underscore variables.scss and app.scss files in it. In js folder, there is an app.js file. Now let's install Livewire. In Google, type Livewire and press enter. Click on this link. Click on documentation. Now click on installation. Copy this command. Click here to open a new terminal. Paste the command which you have copied and press enter. Wait for the download to complete. Livewire has been downloaded. Open composer.json file and you will see Livewire version 3.5. Now we need to create a template layout. Click on Quick Start. Copy this command. Paste the command which you have copied. The template layout, app.blade.php file has been created. Open resources slash view slash components slash layouts folder and you will see app.blade.php file. We will reference bootstrap script and styles in at Vite blade directive in the head tag of this file. After title tag, add it Vite directive. Add parentheses and inside it, add an array. In single quotes, first, type resources slash sas slash app.scss to reference scss file. Add a comma. Now in single quotes, type resources slash js slash app.js to reference js file. Here we will manually include Livewire styles and Livewire scripts in this layout. First include at Livewire styles. Now before the ending body tag, include at Livewire scripts. Now, let's create two Livewire components. Type the command php artisan make colon Livewire home to create a Livewire component called home. Open app slash livewire folder and you will see home component. In resources slash view slash livewire folder you will see home.blade.php file. Now type the command php artisan make colon livewire create post and press enter to create a livewire component called create post. You can see create post.blade.php file has been generated in the livewire folder and create post livewire component is created in the app slash livewire folder. Now, let's add routes for both these components. Open web.php file. Comment out this route. First, add a get route for the Livewire home component and specify slash as the URL path, which represents the root of the site. 
Then, give this route the name home and import home component. Duplicate this route and add slash create post as the URL path. Add create post class and import create post component and give it a name create.post. Open home.blade.php file. In the div tag, add an anchor tag with a route named create.post and then add the wire colon navigate directive. Set the link text to create post. Open create post.blade.php file. Here I have added a bootstrap form with fields for the title and body, as well as a submit button. Before the form tag, add an anchor tag with a route named home, and then add the wire colon navigate directive. Set the link text to home. Go to your browser and reload the page. You will see the link, create post. Click on it, and you'll navigate to the create post page without reloading the page. Click on the home link and you'll navigate to the home page without reloading the page. You can see that we can navigate from one page to another without reloading, which indicates that LiveWire 3 is functioning correctly. Moreover, the Bootstrap classes are also working, which means Bootstrap is functioning properly as well. In this video, we learned how to set up LiveWire 3 with Bootstrap 5 in Laravel 11. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.